friends with Valley Sports, KMOX, and the MLB Network who are sharing uh, today's news conference live. At this time, I turn over to Cardinals President of Baseball Operations, John Mozeliak. <coughs> Brian, thank you. Um, obviously a very exciting day for, for the Cardinals and uh, Wilson. You know, going into to Yachty's final season, we, we knew that we were going to have to find a replacement at one point. And uh, so even going back to, to the beginning of, of 2022, we were already starting to look at, at what potential opportunities could be out there. And, and so when we were like casting that net, we realized that it was going to take a very unique person to come and replace what we've watched for the last two decades. And, uh, you know, as, as we scoured the market from the trade market to, to the free agent market, we, we came to the conclusion that Wilson was someone of great interest to us. And then I can now confirm that last uh, November 30th, or this past November 30th, uh, Ollie and I did meet with uh, Wilson. And I think both parties came away from that meeting with, with the hope that we could get something done. And so fast forward to this past Monday, um, our team, Gersh, Flo, Moy, um, we all met with, with Scotty Pacino and Jose to sort of talk through it. You know, now it was sort of brass tax time. It was where rubber meets the road. Could we find a way to get a deal done? And subsequently, uh, we did talk numbers for the first time Monday morning. By Tuesday morning, we thought we could find a way to get a deal done. By Tuesday night, we had a deal. So it begs the question, so why Wilson? You know, a couple reasons. One, he's really good at baseball. <laughs> Two, he has great respect for the history of the game and the history of the Cardinals. We were three, we were able to, to not have to trade away from our major league club. We, weren't ha we didn't have to trade prospects, and that was something that we, we valued, and we really wanted to try to, to maintain our core club. And finally, after enjoying dinner last night together, uh, it became very clear to all of us that he truly wanted to be a Cardinal. And so it's with great pleasure, with pride, I get to introduce Wilson Contreras to the St. Louis Cardinals family. So I'm going to turn the floor over to Wilson. If you'd like to say a few words, and then we'll open it up to uh, Q and A. Um, good morning. Um, what an amazing day um, for myself and for the Cardinals organization. Um, I would like to thank first God, because without God, I wouldn't be here. Without my family, I wouldn't be here. And I'm really excited and honor to be now part of the San Luis Garden organization. Um, I came here because I know that I knew the, the history of the team. I know this is a team that's looking forward to win and, and every, the whole organization is looking at one direction, just uh, to get back to the World Series. Um, we had a great meeting. I felt the connection right away with with uh, Marmo and, and Mo, and I made the best decision. I did. I did make the best decision, and um, I'm here for you guys. I know that I came here to succeed, Yari and Molina, the greatest catch of the last two decades, and for me, it's an honor to be wearing um, this uniform and be behind the plate. Well said, Brian. Yeah, I, let's uh, see if we can raise hands. We'll keep it organized, and, uh, and uh, we'll start John. Go ahead, John. 
found in uh, MLB.com. Uh, Wilson, what did it mean to you that they came to Orlando and you said they wanted to get you know, get to know you as a person? What did that mean to you? It means everything. Uh, I think um, we're trying to to make this kind of decision as an organization. You have to you have to get to know who you're getting to, right? And for them to come down to to Orlando and may, get to meet me means a lot to me. I know that they made me they made, they believe in myself. That that's that's the right word. They believe in myself, and I'm really glad that they. That we got to meet and, and November 30th. Uh, it was a great meeting. Uh, I felt the connection right away. We're looking forward to win. And um, I'm just excited to, to be here with Marmo now that he's going to be my manager and, and Mo is going to be my president. But like I said, I'm a winner uh, and I came here uh, to, help this team, to help this team in any way I can to win ball games. <coughs> Um, I asked him about how was everything here, how was the organization at all. He said uh, it was a really good organization, everything was organized, I was, that's something that I was looking forward to, and that every play was, the, the clue was a family, I mean the chemistry was there, and that was the kind of word that impacted me the most, and he said you will like it here. I was like, that's when I uh, started um, having thoughts about Play for the San Luis Cardinals, and um, we had a really good conversation with Quintana, and, and he helped me a lot. He helped me to to make the decision. Katie, and then uh, Ben after Katie. Allison, I think you really have a part of the deadline. Katie, nice meeting you. And your Players Tribune article yesterday, you referenced the meeting in Orlando multiple times, and you really instated how the questions that both Ollie and Mo were able to answer during that time helped you solidify your decision. What were some of those questions? <laughs> who I was off, on and off the field, who who's Wilson Contreras is off and off the, on and off the field, because I know that uh, when you play against me, you might get not the best perception of myself because I play for you not to like me. But uh, when you're on my team, you're on my side. I told these guys, you you love me because I do everything that I could for my team, and we have you got to go out there and, and, and win the battle every single day. So. That was one of the questions, um, and we have a really nice conversation throughout throughout the day. And um, but like I said, there was a connection, and it was about winning. Like, what can I do to help the team to win? And that's that was the most important thing for me. Well, since Ben Fredrickson, St. Louis Post Dispatch. Well, you just described being loved by your team, and sometimes they're not so loved by teammates or opponents. Is okay. Also, sometimes the description used for Yadier Molina. You talked about what the how do you balance this role of, of filling in, replacing a, a legend, a future Hall of Famer, but also putting your own, putting your own mark on this job? Because you can't be him and, and no one's Yeah, yeah. I mean, Yadier Molina, we all know who, who that guy is. The best catcher the last two decades, future Hall of Fame, first part of, uh, He set the bar really high. And he was, he was my idol. I wouldn't lie about it. I already told him, too. Um, but I came here to be Wilson Contreras. And for me, it's an honor to succeed a Hall of Famer behind the plate. It's, it's a big responsibility, which um, I take it. And I know that every time that I step up on the field, I do my 110% to win the day. And in the field, I do my best to help in any way I can the team. But it's an honor. It's an honor to be wearing this uniform and, and to be succeeding Jadier Molina. Eric and then uh, Rob. Ellison, welcome to St. Louis. You, I remember talking to you many years ago when you had the Instagram exchange with Molina, the theme call, and what he wanted to kind of pass along to you. How did your all relationship grow from that moment? Is he someone that you talk to often? And what did that mean for him to kind of, hey, reach out and say, hey, respect your elders? <laughs> I think it was, it was uh, for me, it was just a misunderstanding. Yeah. It was just a misunderstanding. We never uh, got something going on. We always have a, re a really good relationship. Um, we spend time together, not often, because I respect his privacy, he respect my privacy, but we're always in touch. We've always been in touch. 
And that's a guy that I learned a lot from it by watching, only by watching. And I ask, I've been asking some questions throughout the years uh, with Jadier, but like I said, he, he's my idol. I mean, he's, in, in, he's an example for the future. Well, already in contact with them, uh, with the with the with the whole team. Um, I'm really looking forward to spend time with them. Uh, I know that starting early in spring training is going to help me a lot, and, and actually it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be easy. No, I mean it's going to be good to get to know everybody. Everybody has a different uh, personality. How to understand what they want, what they like to do, and I'm I'm here for them. The, this is going to be my job. I'm. They're, those pitchers are going to be my best friends throughout my whole career. You text, text messages. I just got to meet uh, Andrew, uh, Andre Palante. He was working out here. He surprised me, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but yes, I've been in contact with uh, Gallegos, um, Flaherty. I mean, those are great guys. I'm looking forward to start working with them and, and the whole staff. And I'm really excited. I'm really looking forward to start spending time with my whole team. All right, Benjamin. And Benjamin Hawkins from the St. Louis newspaper. Uh, what has it like, what has it been mentally for yourself to decide, okay, all my friends and teammates on the Chicago Cubs are now my rivals. I'm trying to beat them in baseball. Um, I have my time with, with the Chicago Cubs, and I, and, and I really appreciate the opportunity they gave me because that was the first team that gave me the opportunity to become a pro baseball player. Obviously, I had six, six good, six good years with them. Uh, we won the World Series, and I love them. But now uh, I can say that I did everything for them, and, I, and I'm able to turn the page, and I'm excited for what this next chapter means to me and my family. Uh, well, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm looking forward to it. That's why that's why I came here to help this team to to get to win as many games we can to get to the playoff and then get to the playoff and face whoever we we are gonna face and then get to the World Series. I mean, this organization is built to win, and the record shows that it's win year by year. So I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to to face whoever we're gonna face. Oh, uh, <laughs> hopefully us for sure. <laughs> yes, I mean, um, Good I'm. Answer. Huh? Good oh, answer. Yeah. oh yeah, he, 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 he's my brother. I love my brother, and I'm, I'm and I'm happy and proud of him. But we're looking to beat everyone. Um, yes, I was part of the World Series in 2016, and they had they revealed two other years. But I knew that I had to keep working, getting better, so this opportunity will come. Um, like I said, I enjoyed my time with the Cubs whenever I was there for the last six years. And but there's, there, there was something that I had in my mind: what can I do to get better every single day and to help the team to win, even though they were in, in a rebuild, but. And it helped me to reach this point. Um, I'm really thankful for all the hard work that I that I put behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and I'm really thankful with, with the organization of the San Luis Cardinal for noticing that, for taking the time to get to know me and and, and believing in myself. That was huge for me. You, you know the rivalry between the Cardinals and Cubs. What's it going to be like to be on the other side to go back to Wrigley and maybe get booed? Oh, I mean, I think uh, like I said, I'm excited for what. The next chapter is. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful with the organization, thankful with, thankful with the fans of, of Chicago. They always, they always will have a special play, place in my heart. I play for them, but now, I'm looking forward to beat, to beat the Chicago Cubs. I mean, it's just part of the game. It's just part of the business. It's, I'm, I'm here. And I'm looking forward to, to do everything that I can to help the San Luis Cardinals to win. Okay, we're going to Ben Perez and then Brooke after Ben. Wilson, you know, just 
since the Cardinals were really impressed in that meeting in Orlando. I mean, you're a multiple-time All-Star, you're a champion, but they left that just thinking, and you were telling them there are ways you want to improve and, and continue to grow your game. What are some of those areas where you say, hey, I can, I can, I can continue to expand and become an even better catcher? I think uh, I always think of that as a as a ball player, as a catcher, you have to keep getting better in every area. Uh, there's no one area or in a specific that I have to be like, hey, I'm good at this. No, I feel like I have to keep getting better in every area. Um, of course, I'm going to create a relationship with my pitchers, uh, create a bond, create the, the trust, and that, that would take a spring training for sure. Um, but uh, for me, just be able to, to communicate with my teammates, stay on the same page, be able to communicate, communicate with my manager, with the president, and, and, it, and it takes everybody to be on the same page. It takes chemistry to, to create a winning team, and I'm looking forward to that. Is the catcher in a unique position to be able to kind of be that, that, that player, to kind of be the, the touch point for a lot of different parts? Of the yes, team? I mean, I think the catcher is the second manager on the field, and, and we have a lot of responsibility on the field, and you, as a catcher, you see everything. And um, Yes, you have to like. I feel like we have to get yeah, good, good chemistry with the catching and, and of the whole night they're playing, even the, the the guys on the bench. And I don't think that's gonna be a problem. I'm here. I'm here. For, I'm here for them, and I'm here to to get to know them, to spend time with them, and I'm excited to to play with Goldsmith, with Arenado, with my corners, and, and Tommy Amon, and all of the teammates. It's gonna be that's gonna be special. How about uh, Wayno was the first guy that, to call me when uh, when the deal was almost official. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> uh, he was excited. He was excited to for me to be part of the a great organization like uh, San Luis Cardinals. I'm looking forward to work together. He always even joke about like you think that we can get 329 and start together. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> why not? <laughs> but I mean. Um, I'm really looking forward to spend time with with a great guy, uh, with a with a really professional ball player on and off the field like like Wayno and, and learn from him too. Derek and then Katie. Well, so two questions that go from Amy. We talked and asked about catching. I, I wanted to first get your thoughts on what you think offensively is possible. You've been in a lineup that had a third baseman and a first baseman who were really strong hitters. Now you're about to join a lineup with two finalists for the MVP award. What do you think is potential offensively? As a team? You and as a team. Oh, I mean, having those guys is gonna it's, it's gonna help everybody. I mean, we all know what Goldsmith is capable to do and are now they're experienced guys, the veteran guys. And I'm pretty sure that they have a lot of talk with the team. Now that I'm gonna be on the team, I'm looking forward to learn from them, to spend it, to share ideas with them, learn about the game with them and um, I'm looking forward to to hit with them, I mean, I'm I'm so excited. I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, to do the best job I can for the team. In the article you wrote for the Players Tribune, you talked about when you would envision free agency, you saw yourself in a Cardinal jersey. When was that? And I mean, <laughs> could you describe kind of like how that story. Came, came about? Yes, um, I think I was on IEL and. Um, I was just, that was the day that Albert Pujols hit the uh, 695 career homer. I was here at home. And I was just looking around, looking around the ballparks, looking uh, around the fan base and the team, how the, how the guys were playing against us. And I said to myself, like, I would like to be a part of or something like that, like the team that's looking, always looking forward to win. And the chemistry they had, I was, I was, was a guy that, while well, I was sitting on bench, I was looking across to see how they were, like how together and how unique the, the team was. And really impacted me because it was not just against us, it was against everybody. And I did put myself behind the play with the San Luis Cardinal for the first time that day. And really, I really enjoyed the feeling. And watching Jadier Molina there playing against us, and then putting myself behind him, just envisioning 
it was an honor, and I love the feeling, and I, I bet I, I made the best decision that I've ever made. Were you wearing that jersey? And then the guy, no. <laughs> oh yes, this is it. This is it. It was the same jersey and uh, same number, same everything. Yes, I'm um, saying everything. Yeah. Now, 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 now become to a reality, and I was looking forward to it. Um, after the meeting, I talked to my agents about coming out, coming here to this organization, and and we make it work. Thank you. Oh, I'm looking forward to to do everything I can to help him growth. That's why we're here. Um, I'm gonna be their support. I'm gonna be f here for them. And and like I said, pitchers are mine, mm -hmm. my brothers. And everything that I can do for them, I'll be willing to do it. I mean, it's not about me. It's about the team. How can I make my pitching staff better? How can I help them? And I'm pretty sure they're gonna give me the answer. But I'm gonna be every single day, day in and day out here for them. So that's that's who I am. And and that's uh, that's something that I represent myself since I got to the big leagues. Uh, and I have to learn a lot of, a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, Martin, then we'll finish with Luis, and then we'll have some opportunities, hopefully, with the one-on-one -on -one after the conference. Martin? Uh, question for Ali. Wilson said the opponents didn't really like him. What was your view of Wilson? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> No, and that's that's why it was important for us to to go down there to Orlando and spend some time with him. And I'll tell you that uh, it, it was meaningful. Um, you sit across from him for an hour and, and start to dive into some of the questions that, that we were able to dive into. And when he starts to tell us, everybody that gets to the big leagues sacrifices quite a bit to do it, and what to get the free agency is a is it's a ton of sacrifice, um, some more than others. But when you hear his story of what it took for him to get to where he's at today. And he tells you what is really meaningful and what motivates him. Um, I left that meeting knowing three things. He cares about winning, building relationships with people around him, and mentoring guys that are younger than him. And uh, that's a really good fit for what we have going here. Luis? Luis, when I came to your eyes, I got asked my question in Spanish and then in English. Luis, este, lo que hay en una fanatía cara bien grande en esta, en Mira, eh, primeramente agradecido con Dios por la oportunidad que me han dado, por todo el trabajo duro que, que puse para llegar a este momento y, y estoy feliz y contento de representar a San Luis Cárdenas. De verdad que sí, eh, estoy bien emocionado, estoy bien inspirado, estoy con ganas ya de empezar, este, porque eso es que es muy buena organización, hay muy mucho talento. Lo que más me encanta de esa organización es que siempre están buscando de ganar todos los días. Entonces, eso, lo, eso, eso es lo que me inspira mucho más. Y, y, y ver la, la química que hay en este equipo es algo que, que me va a ayudar mucho y nos va a ayudar a todos. Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I really Thank appreciate you. Thank you. Nothing. I didn't even get to make fun of you.